Well, hello there. Today we are doing brake pads on our 2007 Honda Pilot. First thing we need to do, we need to look into the hood and we need to take a look at the brake fluid and unscrew this thing because we need that to be loose so we can have the fluid move when we mess with our brake pads. All right, so swapping the front and rear brake pads are gonna be a little bit different. The fronts are much larger than the rear brake pads. It's gonna be great though. So first we'll just take off this wheel. <laughs> on the other side of the wheel, right here on the bottom, we need to take that bolt out. <clears throat> All right, we did it. Okay, so now this section lifts up and we have a piston right here. So with hydraulic disc pads, what happens is over time, as it gets smaller and smaller, this piston right here pushes out further and further. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna push that back. Now you can use a screwdriver and push against the back side. I'm gonna take some channel locks. I'm just gonna grab it. I'm just gonna slowly push it. Now, remember the, the brake thing we undid? That brake cap we undid at the very beginning? Gotta make sure that's undone or else this is, isn't gonna happen. We'll be pushing against hydraulics and that won't work. So we're pushing the fluid back through the line while we're doing this. And you kinda just have to go slow because it's gonna, it's gonna go at its own pace. What I like to do is I like to get my new brake pads out and then pull one one side out and then put the new one in and take the other one out and then put the new one in. So let's pull, I don't know what side I can pull out. And you'll see there's like metal pieces. Oh, okay, I gotta set this down. There's like metal pieces attached to these brake pads. So these brake pads have some life left for sure. And I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to wiggle them out. Yeah, okay, whatever. Okay, so these brake pads, I don't know if that line means like the end of life or what, but we're running to the end of that line. We're kind of done with that. These new brake pads have this massive line in them. So I'm going to take old and new. Do they look identical? They kind of look identical to me. Uh, I'll just slap these in here. Yeah, these look identical. Hopefully they're identical. I'm gonna pull out this other side. Maybe. Oops. Okay, this other side, yeah, it's pretty much gone. There's that metal piece on the back. The kit that I got came with a metal piece on the back, so I don't have to replace it. Here, if yours doesn't have like a metal spacer or whatnot, I'd just swap them out. So how many new brake pads are in? They're just sitting in the alignment. Like they just kind of chill in there. And then as long as you can get the cylinder back down. So this does move around. So you got to get it realigned. You got to get everything. Like all these are like pushed back and forth. So as long as you get it back under it, it's good to go. Then I'm going to screw in that screw. So this is the one screw holding everything together. I mean, you got this other screw up here. You don't really need to worry about that though. Now we're going to go back to righty tighty. Remember to make it ready tidy. And this thing is pretty tight on my little, what is this, eight to 10 inch or 12 inch? I don't know. It's not that big, but it's pretty tight. <clears throat> so I'm gonna tighten that pretty good. Okay, so now, see how it's like moving around in here? It's like moving back and forth. That's because we need to pump the brakes and get those hydraulics uh, back up to snuff, but we're gonna do all four, push all that brake fluid back out and then we'll pump them all together and it'll be great. So, and once you do that, just put the wheel back on and then do the other ones.
All right, last thing. So we had <laughs> so much brake fluid in the reservoir that started coming back out. Let's lock that back in place and clean this up over here. So now let's just depress the brake pedal a couple of times to get those pistons back into place. And I'm pressing on the brake pedal. It's going all the way to the floor. See that? Okay, now I'm starting to get some resistance. So I'm going to give it a good like five presses. Three, four. Feels like my normal break now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.